talk about a PWM low pass filter, pulse width modulation. And why do I want to put a, a low pass filter on there? Well, I want to change this, uh, this square wave into uh, something that looks more like a, a sine wave. And I'm going to do that so that uh, I get a better tone out of it. Okay. On my last project, I, I used 800 hertz uh, to make a uh, CW tone or Morse code uh, tone. And uh, if I put into uh, more of a sine wave, it's gonna, it, I think it'll sound better. And we'll try it at the end of the video. I'll, I'll show you the difference. So, you know, why does low pass filter work? You know, here's a low pass filter down here. And uh, we'll, we'll do these calculations here. So, to start with this uh, Fourier, um, he, uh, he said that any waveform of any shape can be made with a combination of a DC component and an infinite number of sine waves. So, and the shorter the note, DC pulse or light pulse, the wider the frequency spectrum. So, if you have a, um, a you're playing a note, say a C, and you cut it off short, it's going to take more frequencies to make that note up. Same with a DC pulse, and uh, say a light uh, a light pulse going down a fiber optic cable. Now for the uh, in the fiber optic cable, your bandwidth is just from say uh, you know red to to violet light. So um, there's only so so many uh, frequencies you can use to to uh, create a pulse. The shorter the pulse, the more frequencies you need, and uh, so uh, you're limited to uh, the, the size of the pulses is, is going to be limited to your, your bandwidth. So, and that's going to limit your data rate. Now, the, um, there's an equation to, for a square wave. We're not going to go into that. To, to, uh, these are the uh, harmonic frequencies you need to make up a, a, a square wave. Now, the physicists actually tell us this is what happens when you create a DC pulse, you actually create these, these uh, sine waves. Here's a, uh, here's a picture of it here. So when we create these pulses, uh, it's made up of, of these multiple sine waves. So by putting a low pass filter in there, we're going to take all this high frequency stuff out and hopefully be left with just this, uh, this low frequency pulse right here. The one that's the same as the, uh, the square wave. Now, that's kind of hard to wrap your, your head around. Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, just by creating a, a light pulse or a DC pulse, we are we're creating these, uh, these, these frequencies. But that's what uh, physicists tell us happens. Now, to make the uh, low-pass filter, we just, uh, we use this formula here, where, um, well, we know that F is equal to uh, 2 pi, RC over over one, so we want to find uh, C here. So we use this formula here: two pi RF over one. So we're gonna we're gonna pick a hundred ohms, and uh, we're gonna pick our eight hundred hertz, and uh, this two pi. And if you calculate that out, it comes out to about uh, one point nine nine uh, microfarads. So uh, two microfarads on that. Now. The reason I picked 100 ohms is because when we make this, this is actually a voltage divider here, okay? So you're going to divide the, uh, on the voltage divider, you want this resistance to be lower than this resistance here. A 2, two microfarad uh, capacitor at about 800 hertz is, uh, it's about, a, I don't know, it's about 140 uh, ohms or so. So you want this one to be a little bit lower to get your, Voltage. If these were the same, this the voltage we'd be cut in half. We're putting five volts in here, so we'd we'd end up with two and a half volts out here. So now, you know, if we can't wrap our head around the fact that we're creating all these frequencies in here, we'll we'll try it a different way. So what we want to do here is here's our square wave, and we want to we want to create this this curve coming up here. Okay, so we want to just smooth this out. We're going to do that with a capacitor. So, and we're going to do that with an RC time constant, okay? So, this period here, for us, it's, it's 800 hertz. 
So that means that uh, we take 800 and divide it into 1 to get our, get our time in seconds, right? So uh, 800 goes into 1 second, so that's uh, 0 0.00125, and that's our, our period there. But we, only, we want half of this, so it's going to be uh, 625 uh, microseconds here. So our uh, formula for a time constant is T is equal to RC, resistance times the capacitance. So to find our ca capacitance, we're picking 100 ohms for our resistance. We just take our, our uh, resistance and divide that into our uh, time. Okay. Now, a capacitor charges up to 63% of applied voltage in RC seconds. Okay. Here it is over here. There's a formula to calculate that out. Now, three time constants, it, it rises up to about 95% of the applied voltage. The transient response or is five times five time constants or five times constants to a full charge, okay? You know, rarely we try to get it up to a full charge, we're gonna go 90, 95%. So I'm just gonna take this time, divide it by three, and then divide that by 100. And if we do that, it comes out to uh, 2.08 uh, microfarad capacitor that we need. So, and 100 ohms in here. So, either way we do this with the uh, low pass filter formula or just with our time constant here, it still comes out to about uh, two, 2 microfarads down here at 100 ohms. So, I, uh, I made one. Now, I didn't have uh, 2 microfarads, I had 2.2. This is what it this is what it came out on the uh, scope. So this is my, my square wave. My um, pulse here was, wasn't quite the same, but that's fine. And here's my uh, rice time on my, uh, this is what my signal is going to look like here. Uh, closer to a triangle wave, maybe. Now, if I added a couple more filters on here, I could get it to, um, to mo look more like a sine wave, you know. So um, this uh, the voltage is actually reduced by quite a bit when we uh, with our RC filter here. So I'm going to uh, switch over and we'll see what uh, we'll see what this thing sounds like. This is our 800 hertz uh, sine wave. This is a uh, 800 hertz square wave. 800 hertz uh, triangle wave back to our sine wave and then our square wave so this is our uh, back to our 800 hertz sine wave again so I think that sounds better I'm going to add uh, this filter to my uh, last project and uh, if I wanted to filter it out even more I could add uh, add more stages to the filter anyway that's uh, PWM uh, low pass filter